What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Now let's shoot the shit. What's up, everybody? So tonight I'm sitting here, I'm getting my hair braided, social appropriation, cultural. Is it social or cultural? I think anybody can do whatever they want with their hair. Hey, I'm just saying, there's a term for everything. Oh, cultural. There's a term these days for everything. Everybody's got, you know, a, a TBQ and a LBG and all those. Can't just call it gay anymore. But it has nothing to do with braiding hair. No, no, it has something to do with uh, just abbreviating everything. So, yeah, I'm sitting here. Manly man, right? Manly man, you agree, Rainy? Yes. Manly man. That's right. You heard it. The manliest. Right? The manliest. That's right. And I'm getting my hair braided and getting my hair did. You know, I might it's even... It's not very good. That's okay. I might even do my nails. I don't know. But I'm a real fucking man. Fuck you, haters. I don't think anyone's hating you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I ain't got no haters yet. But when I do, fuck you. That's funny. In advance, fuck you. Yeah, I'm just sitting here braiding his hair. Honestly, I don't know what to talk about. I haven't even smoked yet. I know, and I'm smoking. You want to hit this? No. You want not, to hit this joint? It's not strong enough. It's like Maui it's Wowie. It's Maui Wowie. Yeah, it's it's not what I need, though. So no. we're just sitting here. I'm braiding Ben's hair. <coughs> oh, my gosh. So there was a protest yesterday and today in Phoenix at the Capitol. On at uh, the Capitol, huh? At the Capitol, yeah. What the hell's the Capitol of Phoenix? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Capitol of Phoenix. One mic down. All right. Is uh, like a building where all the important people make decisions or some shit like that. All the old white people? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, yeah, there was like tear gas and rubber bullets and. At the non-old white people. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. If you're an old white person and you see people outside yelling, you gotta shoot them. Makes sense. No, nah, Ben, <coughs> just kidding. America, <coughs> or freedom ain't free. America. <coughs> it's hot. In here. <coughs> it always is, man. It's because it barely rained today. We've been getting a lot of rain, and then all of a sudden today it was like. Two well, the minutes. Rain, the rain just started early. <coughs> is that what it is? Monsoon yeah. started early this year? Yeah. And monsoon up here in the mountains, ladies and gentlemen. It is beautiful and dangerous. Sorry, we took a brief pause. Brief. Um, so we decided to talk about the American food. Tilt your head. Just the... Um, like how bad it is so like food dyes in other countries it's illegal to have food dyes and yet here we are with a ton of food dyes and it's not illegal so it's it really makes you wonder because i'm sitting there telling my child no you can't can you not move your head no okay i'm sitting there <laughs> i'm still braiding ben's hair uh, I'm sitting there telling my child, no, he can't have these gummies, and he says, why? Well, first of all, because it has the dyes, red, blue, yellow, 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 red, red, just a whole bunch of different red and blue and yellow dyes, and he doesn't understand why he can't eat this snack that's so obviously advertised to him. Yeah. This, this one's like horrid. Like this one looks like a knot. What'd you do it? <laughs> I don't know. She's doing small braids. I'm gonna continue with this <laughs> one. Just know we're trying you, something new. You can't brush this one out. You will rip your hair out. Oh, I didn't plan to brush any of it out. Okay. You just I'm gonna let it matte and turn into like a moss ball. I don't know. A moss ball? Yep. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Just just take what take what you heard and and just imagine. So <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, it's a just, whole foods yeah. plant based diet is definitely the best you can get. I don't say vegetarian and I don't say vegan. I say plant based because I mean, don't live your life that that stressfully. Yeah. Um. But I'm thinking, tilt your head again. I'm thinking that, uh, like, local meats, local, 
Yeah. Well, I don't like dairy anyway because the stuff in dairy is meant for a baby cow. Mm. And we're not baby cows, so we don't need as much as they put in milk. Like it's No, I know, but as far as meat goes, you were saying, like, like it's okay to get local meat because it's not a stressed-out, you know, abused animal. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Like, hopefully. And they're killed in a humane way. Yeah, it's not factory shit. They're not salt in half and head cut off type shit. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, probably, but not as gruesome. I don't know. I'm just trying to justify it in my own way, make everything better, whatever I got to do to be better. Yeah, like, animals and us humans, we are one. A lot of people don't yeah, feel eat. that way, though. Yeah. Oh, this is just killing me. I am never braiding hair again. Yeah? How many braids we got, like? Fucking Left? 12. Oh, on your head? Yeah. No, fucking 25? No way. Oh, fucking lot. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gangster status. So anyway, when... I'm trying to get my thoughts in line. When I watched What the Health on Netflix, it really opened my eyes a lot. Because you see that, that so many of the small food companies are owned by larger corporations. That only wants your money and want to keep you sick. Right. So eating whole like foods. Like big pharma. Yeah, exactly. So whole foods is described as like having five or less ingredients or something like that. Right. I don't know if each seasoning counts as an ingredient. I was, I was going to say, I would say one ingredient makes it a whole food. Well, I mean technically. Potato. Okay, you're right. But Tomato. I'm saying <laughs> where it's not processed. Okay. So, uh... I feel like just whole is the only way to do it. But, like, how do you know it's whole? I mean, but that's not just it. There's, like, hormones and shit shot up in them, right? Like, you you go to get some steak, looks lean and 100%. Well, that has nothing to do with whole foods, but, yeah. It's still not whole, right? It's... it's. I mean, technically, yes, it's whole, but it's, it's what else is in it, you know? It's the hormones. Yeah, yeah it's not how I... So, no, it probably isn't whole at the end of its that life. Way. But I was just talking about that, like, local meat doesn't have those kind of hormones. They just raise cows. Yeah, they're not shooting them up, trying to make a profit and get them fat and full of muscle or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. They're literally just, like, letting them roam the fucking land. Like, I've been there, done that myself, five years. Well, you know what? We're talking about this, but also we still buy ground beef from Safeway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's such a hard habit to break yourself Definitely a hypocrite. Not intentionally. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to be. Like, I'm a human. I can't even help it. We also it. have five kids, and shopping for food is really difficult. Yeah, they're picky. They all got their own preferences. Yeah. Oh, I hit it again. That makes it real hard. But we still, we got a bowl of vegetables at all times. You know, potatoes and onions. Potatoes and, and onions, not no, like... No, but we got, like, herbs growing. We got some, you know... I mean, that's a little praising ourselves. Well, yeah. We had cilantro <laughs> growing... But it overgrew and died. You know what? That's true. We don't have a lot. It's in the seeding we stage right now. We have spearmint right but now. But we have a lot of spearmint, yeah. And but we don't a, do anything with that either. Some kind of a pumpkin or a squash. But that's not an herb. A little bit of corn. <laughs> but none of this stuff is actually growing. We're trying so hard. We don't know what to do. If you have any tips, please d- I mean, DM me on No, there's going to be 6 billion fucking tips. There's so many tips. YouTube tips on gardening, and it'll be overwhelming. That's what I've figured out. Yeah, I don't know. There. This last one's going to be big. <laughs> right in the front, too. It's going to be the big one. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to have to, like, take a picture just to show the world. I don't know where I'd post it. I don't, yeah, I know. I don't post you online. And see, that's the problem with y'all. Y'all don't shout out enough. I don't know who to give this to. Give what to? The audience. No, I'm just playing. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not, I post I'm not playing. Okay, so <laughs> social media is a good one, how toxic it is. But on the other hand, Yucky. how it also helps us connect with people. So it's like, 